to the top shot. I have a gun. Why are we going through the court press? So <laughs> we caught no gun case to mm -hmm. that. And, you know, my lawyer said, well, you know, I can make everything go away if it, if it, was, if it was two, if it was Tremel's. So after he had passed, I had a talk with him. What to say? To say, I take all the charges you got. Mm. If you can walk away free and put it on me, goddamn right. So is that so, what boys giving you shit about because you put it on? Nah, hell nah. nah okay. Nah, nah. Don't nobody even know about that. I just volunteered. This <laughs> <laughs> Don't nobody even know about that. I'm just being honest. Yeah. That the only time mm. I done ever said or gave no information about nobody because that's my cousin, my big cousin. Mm. He was dead and he told me that it was okay. <laughs> you are now tuning into RQ Gang. And we got a heavy topic today because I'm starting to see the double standards in life. We got this man, T.I. As you seen on the clip I just played, bro, you told on your cousin? Oh, I did see that this morning. I mean, I know you was advised by your lawyer to tell. But, bro, you could have kept that off the internet because I'm going to keep it being, I'm not mad. They, the way y'all went about it. I'm just mad at the fact that y'all pro be proclaiming y'all them niggas that will never say a thing. Y'all will never try to swindle your way out. Y'all niggas are staying tall through the 100 years. So that's where I'm at a conflict. I'm at a conflict that the y'all, it's cool if T.I. do it, right? It's it's cool if T.I. do it, but it ain't cool that 6 9 did it. Because ratting is ratting. Telling, making a statement saying that this person did this, that's telling. Regardless if it's a dead nigga, a live nigga, if it's a cat. I don't give a fuck what it is, nigga, you told on it. So, T.I., you got to redact, redact all your fucking rap music, and you got to just be a comedian now. Because we don't care if a comedian tell. I don't give a fuck if a comedian tell. All right, the comedian can tell all day. Tell, go tell. You tell jokes. Nigga, I, you talk a lot. I know you're going to tell. But you rapping ass niggas talk way more than the comedians. And y'all niggas be telling them. The revelations is coming out. Y'all niggas was telling. No wonder y'all got a 30-year career because you told. And look at your son out here acting gangster and shit. On the internet smoking weed knowing you went to a private school or some shit. High yellow nigga looking like he's supposed to be doing something real constructive with his time. This nigga over there got them shitty ass locks in his hair and looking like he a fucking dirty ass nigga in the projects. What is he doing? It don't matter how much money you get in life, nigga still gonna want to be a nigga, regardless of the fact. And T.I., I'm not mad at you. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm mad at the way the white man or whoever's behind your business promoting you to be the top, top gangster. He got caught with military guns. He, bro, that shit is fiction. The truth is you were scared. You were a comedian on the low. Nobody knew. Nobody knew you was a comedian. You probably busting jokes in the studio. And the whole time, that's really who you were. But you got this image out here like you were... You a sophisticated demon. You could be walking around with military guns doing your thing and only get a year in jail. <coughs> Nigga sent a whole year in jail for a little ass, a little ass 38, and he fighting the case. He got sent a whole year just to go to court. Nigga, you did a year in a day because you told him that it was your cousin gun. I need more from you, T.I., I need more, I need more, I need more Charleston White in you, because that is clearly in you. You a Charleston White ass nigga. You a nigga that found a way to manipulate. Cause you supposed to be doing 20 years of Albuquerque land upstate doing making license plates and cell phones. That's what you supposed to be doing right now. The amount of guns you got caught with a nigga be doing six life terms in jail. But, it, but I'm not mad 
out the way you went about it. I'm mad about how your career has went. And it's the perception on you that that your business plan is to be, I'm this business mogul, gangster ass nigga that tip me and I get a lot of money, rubber band man. And the image is like, bro, you a comedian. You a nigga that crack jokes. You not that nigga. You not Tip Harris. You Tip Harris, nigga. You not T.I.P. You Tip Line, nigga. I'm not mad at niggas that pick they right. I'm I'm mad at niggas that play on both sides. You a gangster and a civilian. It don't work. You know damn well you ain't doing no drill shit in the past. You wasn't even doing drill shit when you was riding around with the army guns. You was just defending yourself because you, you was pussy. It's okay. It's more pussies than gangsters out here. Niggas just want to look like they doing all this motion. You not doing much slack. All you doing is tricking the, the youth to believe in that. Oh, yeah, if you if you got clout, if you got this and that, you can swindle your way out of uh, 100 machine guns. No, bro, you told on your cousin because he was dead. And that's how you went about it. And if you was to be real in the beginning, we could have assessed you the way we seen you. And we could have vetted you because a lot of niggas in the hood wouldn't have vouched for you. You wouldn't have been coming to the clubs doing your little sh little performances and shit. Because we would have knew the truth. You got Meek Mill signed to you at that. You had Meek Mills on you. Like, uh, it was, bro, you, bro. You told. It's okay. The nigga did. It's okay. But tell us you told. You knew for years we knew your ass ran it and you ain't say shit. Now you say something? Because you a comedian. These comedians make me sick. They the only niggas that can say anything. Why? You could rat tell, get raped, go on stage, make jokes about it. What? Them niggas is sick. I, don't, I like her comedian like a Dave Chappelle nigga that break it down. But who the fuck know a T.I. joke? Name me one T.I. joke, y'all. Leave it in the comments. What's a T.I. joke? I never heard a joke from T.I. But he could have sold out comedian show. You don't see it. He going off his record. And his record flawed. His record is flawed. Like and subscribe, man. We're going to be back with more shit, yeah?